Hello everybody, my name is Ichabod Orange, and I just got done watching another video. I know, the last video I did was all about me watching somebody else's video, but this one actually has some sort of impact on the, the basic kind of community I've fostered here on my channel. I know, I know, I use the word community. Meh, fuck it. I don't care. Anyway, so, as some of you may know, I have been having a serious problem with a service that has come out as of recently called BetterHelp. Well... BetterHelp had a very vague terms of service and conditions, uh, issues with the potential credentials of the counselors on the site. There have been a lot of problems. But I watched the Philip DeFranco video, and apparently people have been saying that he is some sort of mastermind behind this, which personally is a concept without receipts for what you're talking about. I, I don't think Phil's anything but a sp sponsored content creator. These things happen. There's lots of sponsored content creators out there. Hell, I'm still technically sponsored by a local tobacco shop, by the way. If you ever want to go into Lawrence, Kansas, there is Tobacco Mart. Wonderful shop. Uh, great place to get cigars and stuff. Yeah, still sponsored by them. Ding! Anyway, back to what I was talking about. So BetterHelp.com is one of those places where there's a lot of worrying potential issues. And there's been a lot of complaints. So what I'm coming to here is a concept of clarity if phil can go into the uh the offices like he wants to do go have a conversation about these people you know talk to him about all that then by all means that is what needs to happen the terms of service need to be cleaned up uh, most definitely if if it's somebody with a serious mental health condition they shouldn't be asked to read a terms of service there's a lot of times where people with very serious mental disorders like schizoaffective disorder, paranoid type schizophrenia, these sorts of things, they, they don't read terms and conditions well and apply them to their own lives. So this is really important for you to focus on if you're going to do something like this. Because if you don't, then you're going to get people who are actively being hurt by something like this. So in those cases, if it is a severe mental health issue that is not something that should be done in an online counseling concept i can understand stuff like depression uh ptsd things where you just need need somebody to talk to there's a lot of people out there who just need somebody to talk to but when it comes to the process of people with a serious mental condition that could require medication i would honestly say do not use betterhelp.com for that now, people have been getting turned away. People who supposedly with the free trial have been getting charged. I have only seen a collection of videos on this. I have not tried to use BetterHelp.com, though I'm pretty sure some of the uh, YouTubers I do watch have tried to try the service itself, and they are not very happy with it. Now, the concept that it is here is if they can clean up their terms of service, if Philip DeFrank can get in there, talk to these people. I, I would honestly suggest doing it as a, a recorded video, something like that. Maybe sit down and do an interview with him. But if he can get everything cleared up, the terms of service gets cleaned up, and you sincerely do what you can for people who – it's not the best idea for them to use this service. People with – uh, mental disorders that could be seriously troubling should not be using a service like this. It's not good for them. But all of that aside, if there is the possibility of it helping one person, I can't snub my nose at it. Because I know when I was much younger, mental health services weren't really provided for somebody like me. And at the time, I could have benefited incredibly from this kind of a service. But because this is about Philip DeFranco, I am going to bring something else up. Something I've started using here recently, and I'm actually fairly pretty fond of all of a sudden. Uh, my producer, which I'm sure you've seen on some of the shows, has shown me a website where you can take, um, like, uh, it's like a to-do list, but it's also an RPG game. So when you do things that either is a habit that you do frequently, do something daily, or something that's just on a to-do list, and you want that sort of instant gratification that some people need for these, I would sincerely advise you to go to Habitica.com. I've only recently found out about it, but I'm 
doing more than I normally do just by using the service. And it's the concept of a lot of times when you have these really grueling, lengthy tasks, it is not easy to get them done. And they'll sit on a paper to-do list for the longest time. But this in some way incentivizes that concept. So if one of the things that you need to do is like you have uh, obsessive compulsive disorder, you have things that you need to get done, but you have a nasty tendency to forget them very frequently. Even if it's just budgeting, like uh, if you could go to a add to add a to do list, and on that to do list you put budget your checkbook, balance everything, uh, go buy groceries, all of that. And each time you do it, you can also set a difficulty. By setting the difficulty, you actually increase or decrease the rewards. So by using this website, you will hear, and I will go ahead and show you what it sounds like. You'll get a little prompt, something like this. And once you get something like that, it's going to uh, sort of expand. It's that instant gratification. You get experience and gold, which you can use to purchase either cosmetic items or items that have uh, like bonuses. Like, uh, let's see, there's a, um, a sword right now that gives you a plus four to strength. You know, these sorts of things really do uh, help. And as something like that, it is incredibly useful for people that need something like an instant gratification source to help you do better and keep yourself organized. So of all the things, this is something I use myself. They have not reached out to me. They've not spoken to me in any way, shape, or form. My producer only just introduced me to the site. But it, I am already seeing changes in my behavior just because I am a gamer. So if you are a gamer, you like things like this, I would sincerely suggest you go to Google, type in Habitica, and find the website. It's very interesting. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Ichabod. I've got raccoon shit to do. I will see you guys next time.